are certain you remember nothing of this place. Oh, nothing that would help us. Tell me, brother, why exactly are we doing this? I do not know. Oh, that's comforting. Look, I know you expect more from the smartest man alive, but Odin always kept me in the dark about this place. Which is why I urged you to seek Freya's guidance. Repeatedly. She does not seem eager to speak with me. Well, quite the opposite, brother. But you tell yourself whatever you need to. I see a shore ahead. Black sand. Exactly as described in the invitation. We finally bloody made it. Something is happening. Back to basics, then. Well, that felt unsettling, like we plunged into a dream. Doesn't seem anyone's here to welcome us. Locked. I don't suppose you'll take that as our cue to turn around and leave? Reatha Sialfur, Sinum Hautum. To be one's own master. Master thyself. A more poetic way of putting it, but yes. Valhalla may not appreciate our breaking in. My shield will not open. to encounter here. Curious. <laughs> Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice.
least you're not going in completely hobbled. Outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter, and I would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past, face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. <sighs> he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come. Sigrun, maybe later we could continue with that one conversation then? For once, Mimir, I think you've said enough. Ah, right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still... Thinking, I take it? I am. Um... Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think, then. you in properly prepared this time. First, Mahalo... ...requires you to perform the Ritual of Selection.
Let my sister speak to you of Valhalla's rules and its values. What do you know of this place? The challenge of Valhalla is not merely about overcoming obstacles. It's about the way you overcome them, how you demonstrate mastery of your own powers. We can guide you down a path, but Valhalla will be the judge of your progress. Return to me when you've met a goal, and we will observe the effect. Valhalla seeks to foster wholeness and balance within those who enter. To fully master yourself, you can't rely on only your most familiar tactics. I use the tactics appropriate to the situation. Of course, but varying your approach will demonstrate to Valhalla the full mastery of your abilities, and Valhalla will reward such demonstrations. Be sure to come back... as you progress. Step up to the gate when you're ready to proceed, and we can begin the ceremony. I am ready. Air, Gunnar, with me. Any cursed feeling this time? No. All is well. Thank you, shield maidens. All right, let's try this whole thing again. Choices to make. A fresh start. Sigrun, did you anger her? I wouldn't say she's angry with me. Irritated, perhaps. Disappointed, certainly. Ah, but you needn't worry yourself, brother. I won't let it distract from whatever it is we're doing here.
so, this is no piece of Asgard at all. Just something spun from your memory of it. Fascinating. If this part seems peaceful, we should have a look around. Brother, I must admit, Freya's idea does make quite a bit of sense to me. What better god of war could the realms ask for than the general who won Ragnarok and won it trying to save lives? With you on board, our whole peacekeeping council could really do some good. This position, this title, I have held it before. You know what happened. She knows what happened. Of course we do. But why should who you used to be matter more than who you are now? Can't you see how far you have come? However far I have come, I have done it running from that life, that title, that throne. Aye. Not permitted that way, it seems, and no way to pry it open. I suppose this is about how you remember Jotunheim, eh? I do agree with you about Freya's council. It is a noble idea. It should succeed on her merits. How's that, brother? Freya is known to the realms and native to them, respected by all. An experienced leader. Experienced enough to know that a shared power is best for the people. 
that she would share power proves she is worthy to wield it. Even so, why make her wield it alone? Without Odin, the realms have a chance to forge a new peace. When conflicts do arise and can't be talked through, a god of war ensures those conflicts have rules and enforces them. They need might and judgment, and credibility across the realms. Who else would she pick, brother? Seems there's a way at hand to bargain with Valhalla directly. This must be how you remember no. battle fight. Freya knows I would not refuse to aid her when in need. I have done and will do my part to fight for peace, regardless of title, regardless of whether I sit in authority. You know as well as I do there's power in one. Yes. The people need to know you're committed to them and to yourself. That you'll be there for them, and I know that you will. I understand you've got misgivings, man, but you've put your past behind you. We all see it. You do not know everything that I am. That you were. You've told me of your past, and yes, much of it was horrible. But you've proven over and over again that you're not that man anymore. <laughs>
Well then. <laughs>